mealworm. What's that? A mealworm is actually not a worm at all, but the larvae of a beetle. You see, many insects contain a tough protein called chitin that we cannot digest. So many entomophagous people eat the larvae of insects that have not yet begun to develop chitin. Entomo what? Entomophagus. Entomophagy is the practice of eating insects. It comes from the Greek entomo, meaning insects, and phagi, meaning to eat. So you want to try a cricket? Try these. They have already been cleaned and dry roasted, ready to eat. Hmm, crunchy. And a little bit nutty. But how can I cook crickets for my family? Watch Brenda, an entomologist, process crickets and use them in a dish. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. When I'm cooking with crickets, I buy them from commercial growers so that I know I'm getting the best cricket available. And they sell these to zoos and pet stores. And I always buy pre-winged crickets. You can get them in various sizes. Too small, you don't get much of a cricket once it's done roasting. And if they're adult, they've got extra wings and ovipositors. And when they arrive, I take out their food so that they have nothing to eat. And I'll keep them in this box for 24 hours. And then I put the live crickets into a clean bucket and I'll put this in the freezer and keep that in the freezer for about four to six hours. After they're frozen I move them from the bucket into a container and this is where I remove all the legs and extra body parts. These are frozen solid so I'll shake it. Make sure I shake it kind of hard to get all of the legs, uh, any loose wings and antennas off. And then I go through another step, because people don't really like to have a cricket leg between their teeth. And I use a french fry basket, shake it up, and you can see the legs fall through. And you lose a lot of antenna, wings, cricket legs. And then I'll lay them out in a single layer on a cookie sheet. And this is where I will then dry roast them in the oven. I put the oven on about 250 degrees and roast them anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And these guys are perfectly golden brown, perfect for adding to baked goods. And then I'm going to take these crickets and add them into some cookie dough that I made. And mix them in just as you would any kind of nuts, cons, or walnuts. Anything where you could add a nut, you can add a cricket. Um, and you're getting a lot more iron and protein than you would with a regular nut. So here is, these are my rainbow chirp cookies. I see you're making cookies there. Why not put these crickets in the mix and surprise your children when they come home from school? One of the big things that holds people back from eating insects, what they tell me is that they don't like to eat them because they consider them dirty, especially crickets. But the beauty about eating insects, especially if they're farm raised, is that we know what they ate, so we're actually getting a pure or clean um, food source. I personally don't eat cockroaches and I don't um, tell people to eat roaches. They have as a defense um, a foul smell and a bitter oil to them. If you've ever stepped on one, you're going to see it and you're going to smell it. So those are insects that I don't really eat. Um, people ask me about maggots. Um, you're going to find maggots in dead or rotting carcasses. They are the larvae of flies. So this is not something that we want to eat. Um, because of what they've been eating.
When I make my award-winning mealworm egg rolls, I like to use live mealworms because it really gives you the best flavor. A couple of days before I cook them, I feed them on cornmeal and apples, and this gives them a full sweet flavor. First, I saute some garlic and fresh cilantro and oil, and then add a couple handfuls of mealworms. You don't want their bodies to get too hard and crunchy, just enough to cook in the flavor of the garlic and fresh cilantro. This is the point where I like to just take them out of the pan and eat them, and then I realize, you know what, I'm eating a bug. So, I could eat any bug if I sauteed it in garlic. I have here a mixture of shredded carrots, water chestnuts, and onions. Then I add my freshly sauteed mealworms and some rice noodles. I combine this with some pepper, a little sugar, salt, a beaten egg, sesame oil, and fish sauce for flavor. I pile a bit of it onto my egg roll wrappers, fold it up, do a little egg wash, and roll it up tight. Fry them up in deep oil. Make sure your oil's nice and hot, because that way you seal in the flavor of the food and it doesn't absorb the fat. You know, you let them drain on a paper towel. And then I like, for presentation, I like to slice them in half. And you can see that there's worms in there. It's not filled with them. Um, just enough to add a little bit of flavor. So that's the mealworm egg roll.